yo yo what's going on everybody it is uh scorpio king and today i'm bringing to you guys what is the amd prism cooler versus the arctic liquid freezer cooler uh it's the 240 millimeter version um i bought it because i didn't like the way that the amd prism cooler was working on my 3900x um so on the screen i'll bring up the chart so you guys can see everything right here um but on the amd prism cooler stock the 3900x i ran it at two different voltages and two different gigahertz um and the temperatures for the 1.3125 1 volts i uh, clocked at 4.2 gigahertz but that's for the amd prism cooler that one at idle temperatures it was 39.88 degrees on average um, and then the 3900x temperatures at 1.3375 volts at 3.8 gigahertz uh, was on average of 43.5 um, so you can you can kind of see the more voltages that you have of course you know kind of makes sense the higher the temperatures are going to be but on the other side take a look at the arctic liquid freezer um at 1.31 volts and everything is the same guys um you know i did the volts the same i just switched out the coolers and uh, i did the gigahertz the same everything the same but um at 1.3125 volts uh the idle temps for the arctic liquid freezer was only 31 degrees which was a difference of about I mean, you can you can pretty much call it nine, nine degrees C's um, between the two from the Arctic Liquid Freezer versus the Prism Cooler. Um, and then at 1.33 volts, uh, the idle temps for the Arctic Liquid Freezer was 32 degrees C's. And you guys can see the rest of the charts right here on the Prism Cooler um, at 4.2 Hertz, 76.26 um and then at the 1.33 81.43 uh the rising map that, that was on the rising master um the program that i was running i run i ran rising master and the 3d mark as well and then back over here to the arctic liquid freezer um at the 4.2 gigahertz the average tents were 66.1 on the rising master and at the 3.8 gigahertz uh, with the higher voltages it was 71 degrees C's on average and then we ran the 3d mark test and at 1.31 volts 4.2 gigahertz on average it was about 85.32 on 3d mark for uh, the prism cooler and then it was about 89.59 at the 1.3375 volts at 3.8 gigahertz that was on the amd prism and on that last test of that 3d mark i swear i seen like a, like a 92 93 degrees at times i mean you don't want your cpu getting that that hot i mean can it handle it yes it was built that way but do you want that no but look at the difference over here on the arctic liquid freezer when you had it at 1.33 volts and 3.8 gigahertz 73.77 degrees on average and then at the 1.3375 at 3.8 gigahertz 76.77 uh degree c's so you can see the difference there is about 12 to 13 degree c's is this a recommended buy if you can afford it um i believe i'm not sure exactly what it is i'll probably put it up on the screen but i bought it for like 80 bucks i want to say off of amazon i mean it, it works phenomenal it's quiet i have no comments or no no bad comments to say about it the amd prison cooler I can say it is super duper loud. It sounds like a jet engine inside of your PC. Um, so all in all, the Arctic liquid freezer definitely wins this battle. 
it's not even a battle honestly but uh i do recommend buying this one. i do recommend buying this one guys so you know if you got the funds for it go ahead and have at it um but that's all i got don't forget to like comment and subscribe my skin scorpio king i'm out y'all peace